Hello everyone, I've received some comments asking for updates on a few plants. So in this video, I'm going to give you an update on my golden pothos, the cuttings from the mystery cutting box, my cilantro, and peperomia polybotria. I'll also include some lessons I've learned, so hopefully you'll find that helpful. Feel free to skip to the plants you're interested in using the timestamps. And let's get started. The first plant is this pothos featured in the video about two months ago when I came back from a three week long vacation and was greeted by all these yellow leaves. I was pretty sure that it was caused by underwatering, so I watered the plant, cleaned up the yellow leaves, and gave it a haircut by trimming off some bare vines. That was about two months ago. Since then, I've made sure to water it on time, and I haven't seen any leaves turning yellow. The plant also looks a lot better in general, which further confirms that the cause for all the yellow leaves back then was indeed due to underwatering, and it was completely my fault. It's okay, we all make mistakes, and here's what it looks like today. You can see some new shoots coming out of the vines that I've trimmed. I also did repot it just to give it some fresh soil. And the two vines are trimmed off half rooted, so I've recently planted them back into the pot, which is why the plant looks slightly fuller. In the next few weeks, I'm going to root a few more cuttings and plant them back so that the plant can look even fuller. The next video is the mystery cutting box unboxing and setup. I got three plants from the box. The first one is this Tridiscantia, and this is what it looks like today. It's definitely gotten a lot bigger, and I have also been pruning off the parts that are completely green to keep the variegation. Um, if it wasn't for the pruning, the plant would look even bigger. You can see that the color of the leaf has faded a little bit, uh, which also first started after I got back from the same vacation. So there's a high chance that it's also due to underwatering too. This is also not the first Tridiscantia that I've had trouble with when it comes to the colors fading. So maybe I'm just not very good at taking care of Tridiscantias. The second plant is this Peperomia caprata. I started with two cuttings of this plant, and I remember when I first unboxed them, they were really healthy and firm. Um, well, <laughs> this is what it looks like now. <laughs> yeah, and it's my fault again. The two cuttings that I started off with have uh, shriveled up and died, and these two leaves are the new growth, which actually have remained this size for months. Um, so it hasn't grown at all for the past two or three months. I think it's mad at me. Needless to say, it's not thriving. And there are two things I think I did wrong that led to this plant suffering. The first thing is that the original pot I put the cuttings in was too deep. And I put very little soil such that the side of the pot basically blocked all the direct sunlight uh, the cuttings could receive. And as you probably know, cuttings need extra sunlight to grow, so that was mistake number one. Mistake number two was a few weeks after I potted up the cuttings, I covered the pot with a plastic bag to increase the humidity, which in itself is fine, many people do this. But <laughs> in my case, the humidity inside the plastic bag actually became so high that the water was condensing on the leaves, and I didn't notice until the cuttings started rotting away. So yeah, please learn from my mistakes and I'll let you know when this plant has forgiven me and decide to grow again. I'm feeling hopeful because the spring and summer are coming. The third plant in the mystery cutting box is this Pelia depressa. I've already done a video showing the growth of this plant in the first 100 days, and I discussed how I've been caring for it in detail, so I won't bore you with it again. To keep it short, I've been regularly taking cuttings and planting them back in to make the plant look fuller. It roots really easily in my experience. It did suffer some damage uh, from that same vacation. Ah. <laughs> But it's still doing really well, and I plan to keep taking cuttings from it and planting them back to make the plant look fuller on all sides instead of just this one side. The next plant that I've gotten asked about is this cilantro from my video on how to keep store-bought potted herbs alive. 
Some of you have noticed that I no longer have this cilantro, and it's because it bolted. Bolting is when a plant grows flowering stems, which usually happens when the weather is too hot and the plant thinks it might not survive. So instead of spending its energy on growing leaves, it diverts its energy to producing flowers and seeds for the future generation. Once bolting starts, it's not reversible and it's also not preventable because, again, it's a natural survival mechanism. When your cilantro begins bolting, the leaves will lose their flavor. So if the reason you have this plant is to harvest its leaves, like、um, in my case. Then once it starts bolting, the plant is simply no longer useful. The bolted cilantro has narrower leaves that looks very different from the ones you would put in your food. Eventually, it flowers. I got this cilantro in April and it bolted in August, so it was able to give me a steady supply of fresh cilantro for an entire summer, and I'm very happy with that. The last plant in this update is this baby Peperomia polybotrya from my video on how to care for and propagate it. Full disclosure: no one asked for an update on this plant, but I love it, so I'm gonna show it. <laughs> well, someone did leave a comment asking what to do about the leaf cutting once the propagation is more established. So I thought I would share my experience on that、uh, in this video. I usually keep the leaf cutting until it basically falls off naturally because I don't really mind the way it looks. The leaf cutting on this one shriveled up and came off about two months after I saw the first sign of growth. The mother plant, on the other hand, still has its original leaf cutting, but you can barely see it because the plant has gotten so much bigger. Anyways, the propagation is healthy and it's been growing even during the winter, which is so great to see. The joy of seeing plants grow is one of the main reasons that I keep house plants, and I like documenting it as well. If you like this video, I think you'll enjoy my playlist on plant growth updates, and you can check it out here. See you next time. Bye.